Today we will learn if cooking directly over coals is better and less dangerous than any other grilling method. Let's go! Cooking over coals, or what we call the caveman style of cooking, is something that has been used for a long, long time, and it has always been something that worked very well. Until recently. Some people is not convinced of this way of cooking and there is many, many complaints about it. Mostly the complaints come from people focusing on food safety and presentation, and the argument is that cooking this way, the meat will get full of ashes and unnecessary things. So first, let's talk about health issues. Based on this article, it is generally safe to eat food with small amount of charcoal ash on it. But of course, you're not going to be seasoning your steaks with ashes. However, it is best to use organic charcoal products instead of briquettes, since the ash is generally more safe and environmentally friendly. So that is point number one. If you're going to try this at home, make sure you use lump natural charcoal and not briquettes. That brings us to point number two. Does ashes change the flavor of food? What? If you are cooking with charcoal, you are already getting ashes on your meat, no matter how far it is from the fire. So tell me this, does your steak taste better when cooked on charcoal or on any other way? That right there should be the answer to the question. And point number three. It makes steaks look bad and burnt. That all depends on how long you cook your steaks for and how much attention you pay to it. If you leave your steaks unattended for some time, you can expect it to burn and be done at a higher turn. It has happened to all of us. <gasps> but if you take the time to cook your steaks on hot charcoal as you do in your regular cooks, it should be as beautiful and perfect at the end. Besides, I'm a huge fan of those little dark spots on the steak, as I know they hold a lot of flavor. With all that said, it is time for me to show you what we are cooking today. This is a beautiful guayo picanha I especially ordered with my friends at Broward Meat and Fish. Of course, this is not something they have available all the time, but if you take the time to talk to them, they will try their best to get you what you need. And I know what you are thinking. Why did I choose a waju picanha for this crazy experiment? Hmm, let me explain. Picanha, as many of you know, rely its flavors on the beautiful fat crown it has on top. And that fat crown is the one that creates most of the flare issues when cooking on the grill. By the way, a charcoal grill is the only and best way to cook picanha, certified by the Vatican. If you ever cook picanha, you know that flares are as spectacular as they can be. And you have to be very careful as more than one grill had caught on fire because of it. That added to the amount of intermuscular fat this wild picanha has inside will create more flares and more problems. And that is why I consider this wild picanha the perfect case study for this experiment. Today, I'm going to prove to you that cooking right over the lead coals is the best way to cook picanha, hopefully. But first, what are flares? Flares are created by the fat dripping on top of the lead coils and the amount of oxygen available between the steaks and the fire. If you reduce that space, flares are going to be more intense. And that is why people tend to try and move the grates as far from the fire as possible. What if I tell you that all you are doing is putting more work on yourself and exacerbating the problem? Yes, you can go higher and higher, but eventually you're going to run out of space. Another solution would be to add a deflector between the fire and the meat, but that will make the entire cook completely indirect and you will miss the deliciousness of a good sear. My solution to this issue is to eliminate the main factor that creates the flares, the oxygen. By cooking the steaks on top of the coils, we will get rid of that issue and we will not have flares. Also, the meat will cook a bit faster, and those little dark spots I was telling you before will, will be more abundant and delicious. Once you're done with your cooking, if you care, you can wipe some of those ashes off and serve the perfect steak to impress your diners. 
The rest is exactly the same as any normal cook. Use a thermometer to get your steaks to the perfect turn and let it rest for 10 minutes before cutting. What do you guys think about these beauties I have here? Love the color, <laughs> The Ninja. color, um, just everything is amazing here. Both. By the way, Mason, yeah, I cooked this one a little bit different. The rest is exactly the same thing. And I want to add, guys, something that I didn't talk about before is I season, when I cook it like that, I season after. Any seasoning or any, you know, pepper or salt or whatever you put on it before, once you put it on top of those like red hat coals is just gonna get smithling how do you say that burned destroyed <laughs> it's just gonna get destroyed and it might not give the meat a good flavor so that's why i season everything after i'm done uh in reality there is not a test but we're just gonna give it a try anyway but this is my favorite color this one here at the end that one that is a favorite color this should be illegal all right <laughs> I think, yeah <laughs> Go for it. Look at the contrast. I hope Ooh. you guys can see it. Let's give it a try. Let's do it. Oh no way. <clears throat> I love the crust. So many juices in my throat. Well, you choke in it. <clears throat> you choke in it. <laughs> All right, let's try the other one just, just to give it a try. All right, Miss Ninja, give it a try. Mm -hmm. It's not really a test, but let's go. Oh. Guys, this thing is delicious, brother. You're approved. Oh my god. You okay? <clears throat> All those uses. <laughs> I'm shocking on those uses, man. Why wow, yeah. can you guys? What else can you expect? This is oh, yeah. amazing. And again, if you just pay a little bit of attention to the cooking, you could have an amazing result without all those crazy flares and all that craziness that can happen. I seen people throw grills into pools because they catch on fire. And I almost did once. Oh my it's, God. It's crazy. It is, so, but it's really good. Would you say this would be your favorite method? For cooking anything with flares? Yes, of course. That's, that's what I would like to do. I love it. Again, you can clean it up a little bit after all. Uh, or not, it doesn't really bring any problems, any health issues, none of those things. And people will love it because those little burnt things that you see around, that's where the flavor is concentrated. It's voila. Oh my goodness. I had to thank my guys from Barwood Made and Fish for hooking me up with this thing. Thank you. It's really good. And now I have to ask you something. Did we make you hungry? Did we? If Did we, we made you hungry, you have to hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your yes, friends and you family. Are. And don't forget hit to share these videos on your social network. That help us a lot. Yes. That's all for today. But remember that I love you. Mm -hmm. Love you too. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next one. Ninja proof, baby.